In 2024 now, there's tons of software engineering advice online, but there is something important I see everyone forgetting to mention. Your GPA does not matter. Focus only on React and Python. A CS degree is not worth it now. The math in CS courses is useless. The only classes that matter are data structures and algorithms. Ignore everything else. Yeah, there's some truth you could graduate without exploring harder topics. Especially if you want any generalist role, take easier classes. But if you avoid taking harder computer science classes in favor of taking the easy way out and chasing the bag, you will miss out and sell yourself short. You see, there are a plethora of deep topics in CS, from compilers and cybersecurity to robotics and applied sciences. The list of researcher build doesn't end. It goes on and on and on. If you hate on your low-level and theoretical programming classes, you might miss out on some important foundations. And these foundations get much harder to learn later in your career. Yes, you could learn a lot on the job, but in today's market, as a new grad, it's extremely competitive to get specialized roles just by doing lead code and some generalist SAS React Python projects. Machine learning engineer, robotics engineer, security engineer, front-end designer, research engineer. I see many people applying for these roles or projects when they did everything they could to skimp out on relevant classes such as statistics, linear algebra, or operating systems. For example, skimping out on your operating systems classes might make your life easier now, but it won't help you when you're trying to get an operating systems or any low-level job at Apple with hardware. During my undergrad, I noticed that my classmates who would take harder topic classes such as advanced algorithms or advanced operating systems and actually try to learn would end up landing more specialized roles at big tech or companies letting them interview with them much easier because they have a unique skill set. Yes, you could apply for a generalist SWE role and luck into any of these roles, but everyone's path and situation is also different and I'm showing there's benefits to pursuing harder foundations if you ever want to specialize. It's about developing more skills so you may choose what you work on. If you are a late stage in your career, hate programming, or have a specific financial situation, this advice isn't necessarily for you. But if you are a student in school, when learning, go for breath and the bread will follow. You might even discover a class of problems you're passionate about and gain some problem-solving skills that may last with you for life 